everyone welcome back to the channel now I'm at a church a church that I've passed hundreds and hundreds of times going to uh, work and I've always been quite fascinated by it because it's got quite a rich history I thought I'd take you around St Mary's Church in Merton just in South Wimbledon it's a lovely old church hidden in the spool of suburbia so we're not out in the countryside this time you know so uh Let's have a look around. Look at this magnificent archway. This is Norman in origin. Norman originally was at Merton Priory and was lost for hundreds of years and then rescued and uh, installed here. Bit of Norman architecture, isn't it great? There's a plaque here. Yeah, this gateway of the guest house of Merton Priory, 1175, discovered in AD 914, was restored and resurrected, re-erected on this site, AD 1935. Isn't that amazing? Just have a little look around the this lovely church. It's a Sunday actually, so we've obviously had morning prayer. I think there's even some later on. Yes, yeah, very, very nice. I think this church is Saxon in origin because there was a, a, a religious site on the site before this present church was built or the foundations of this present church. This is all the old, I mean, you can tell by the brickwork, this is the old part of the church going back almost a thousand years. Lovely. Lovely big organ. Sir Henry. Stapleton, who departed this life on the 26th day of March, and Adomini, 1679, 1679. Wow, lovely old door this, look at that. I know, me and doors, I say it probably in most videos. It's a lovely old door. I know it's a Sunday, but it's quite refreshing to come into a church in suburbia and it's open. I think people are floating about though. That's nice. I mean, Merton tram stops are literally just a five minute walk that way, South Wimbledon. It's a lovely, lovely old church, this. Okay, let's go and look at some interesting gravestones. This is called apparently Nelson's Steps, a horse mounting stone that apparently Lord Admiral, Lord Nelson, Lord Admiral, Nelson used. That might just be wishful thinking, I don't know. Okay, this is the North Porch, which dates from 1390, where we were just now inside. 1390. What an incredible building. around here a bit. Nice little alcove. <laughs> it's bizarre, so I've passed this, this church so many times. I never I always want to explore here and I thought now I'm gonna do it. Huge, huge graveyard, oh, a churchyard which was 
I think it expanded in the in the last hundred years or so. This church was founded by Augustinian canons who built Merton Priory, the very famous huge Merton Priory. It now has a supermarket on top of it, but the undercroft's still there. Yeah, and the earliest mentions think about 1115. I absolutely love that Norman arch. Let's have a quick look around the uh, churchyard. Huge, huge churchyard. A lot of graves here. There's a tomb for someone called Daniel Deacon who died in 1844 at the age of 106. The oldest inscribed tomb here is someone who died, a young girl, only six years old, in 1675. 1675. And I think that's around the sort of the time, 1600s, when tombstones really were becoming more prominent. I've said this before. really peaceful about churchyards like walking out in the countryside I say we're in the middle of suburbia usually I'm out in the countryside um, you saw the last video from Wooden Church on the A25 but here I say it's a very sort of middle-class area I have to say um, but it's uh, still very very nice very quiet and peaceful people out walking their dogs on a Sunday afternoon which is nice So there you go, just a raw video from St Mary's in Merton, South Wimbledon. Hope you've enjoyed the video, a little walk round, which is a bit brighter actually. But please hit that like, subscribe. If you know any more information about this church, please let me know. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.